England face Italy in the Swiss capital of Bern on Wednesday. A chance to atone for bowing out at the quarterfinals of Euro 2012 to the same opponents. But not all those who suffered penalty heartache in Kiev will be around to exact revenge, as manager Roy Hodgson has shown faith in a predominantly youthful squad. Manchester United midfielder Tom Cleverley is one of five uncapped players named, and he'll be hoping to build on the experience of representing Great Britain at the Olympic Games. It was fantastic. I mean, uh, I enjoyed every minute of it. It was, it was a bit different and uh, from your normal league games and things like that, but... Uh, on a personal level, it was good for me as well, including the friendlies. I managed to play six games and uh, feel confident and fit from it. So it's a shame we didn't get a medal, but the all-round experience was, yeah, I enjoyed it. Another player in line for his first England cap in Wednesday's friendly is Jack Butland. But by no means is he a rookie. The 19-year-old was Hodgson's third choice keeper at Euro 2012. There's a fantastic youth coming through. Um, not just goalkeepers, there's, there's a load of young English players that are coming through, you know, fighting for their chances. So, you know, I think everyone should be excited about what England's bringing and, and hopefully the young players, you know, get opportunities and, and hopefully that happens soon. It's been an eventful week for Jack Rodwell, who joined Premier League champions Manchester City from Everton after being named in Hodgson's squad. The 21-year-old is set to line up with new club teammate James Milner in the midfield ranks. Yeah, he's obviously a good player. He's um, been with the squad before, and um, you know I've, I've played with him at youth levels as well. He's, he's a box-to-box -box player, can get around the field, and he's very tidy. After Wednesday's meeting with the Euro 2012 runners-up, attention turns to qualifying for the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. England's campaign kicks off with a trip to Moldova on September the 7th.